Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's featured Master Nightfall, which is Devil's Lair. As you can see on the screen, I'm showing you all the weapons, uh, mods, aspects, fragments, the whole shebang, everything's here. But let's cover the weapons right off the bat. Arbalist for Barrier, uh, Tarnished Metal for Unst uh, Overload, and we're using the Wendigo just for extra DPS. The exotic that I'm using is Crown of Tempest, and I'm using Stormcaller Chaos Reach. All the fragments and aspects are here. Uh, you can you can browse over them to your heart's desire. The reason I decided to use this, let's be honest, Tickle Fingers has been off off the menu for quite some time, but this season's artifact mods, the rework to Chaos Reach, just the overall ability regeneration this subclass has is insane and what i'm most happy about is that we have a uh, an ability out with strand that we can just use to stop a champion i i like that i don't like to have to jump through hoops to get these things to work i like if it just does the job you know very straightforward so as soon as we get into the strike i'm just gonna bypass all the enemies and we're going to go straight for the first overload which is right at the entrance to the strike so what I'm going to do and what I would suggest you do this, obviously the surges at 25% extra damage, incoming damage from arc, uh, outgoing it's arc, strand, I think stasis as well, uh, and linear fusion rifles are the overload weapon. He, you have to watch out with this, this uh, overload because he does arc. So... Trace a shot, same as what the Vandals do. He's one of the most dangerous overlords. So I put the Rift down. Even though I knew I was going to need it up here, I put the Rift down because I didn't want to be in a situation where I w and, and attrition is the modifier. So I didn't want to be in a position where I wasn't regenerating health naturally and he was still firing at me. So get a Rift down. Now, we're going to speak a little bit about this because I'm pretty sure we all know there's a barrier here. Right, and I'm trying to just do a bit ad clear, make sure it's just me and the barrier. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the, the, the setup and how, why I'm using how I'm using it. See the art buddies, they are paramount. I thought I could thread the needle here, and it, I just wasn't getting the right damage with that grenade launcher. The arc souls are very, very good. And the reason why they're very good is obviously they're gonna they're gonna get on top of your damage, right? Always regenerating yourself there. Obviously they're gonna get rid they're gonna as you can see here, they're gonna be firing as you're firing and it's arc, so you know, it's not a good day for this champion. I'll just finish him. But when you're not aiming it, if you aim at an enemy, you'll see me do it more so in the boss room when I want to create ionic traces. I'll put my well down and I'll let I'll let the my little orc buddy, I'll let him do his thing, uh, which will create ionic traces, which will give me my, my abilities back faster. But when you're doing something else, if you're looking somewhere else and you're not actually aiming at an enemy, they will pick an enemy to fire at. So it's it's they're very, very, very good. A friend of mine, big shout out to Lamac, has been using these forever, right? And he's always banged on about how good the arc buddies are. And I never really bothered. I never really, you know, was like, yeah, yeah, very good. Uh, but they are, they're very good this season. As, as I say, for the ability spam, getting the grenades to come back and your rift, the ionic traces are very good for that type of thing. Now, the seasonal artifact has some stuff that buys into that as well. Uh, shock and awe. Uh, so if you get final blows uh, when you're... Uh, amplified, it jolts enemies as well. You get lightning strike strikes twice. Uh, after throwing an arc grenade, you gain arc recharge for a short period of time. Arc final blows extend that duration. Amped up, gain damage resistance when amplified. Electric armor, stay amplified for longer while you've got an arc subclass. And thunderous retort grants a bonus arc super damage of cast when critically wounded or while activated lasts obviously until the end of your super activation so everything is built again with the helm 
Uh, the Crown of Tempests, Archability, or Jolt Final Blows increase the recharge rate of your Archabilities and extend the duration of Storm Trance. We're not using Storm Trance. We are wanting our abilities to come back as fast as humanly possible. So, once when we get to this part, you see me take, you know, take those ads out, and then what I normally do is throw a grenade over to where the Overload is, or over to the left. Then, see this stone pillar in front of me? I use that as cover from these uh, from these uh, w uh, wizards and acolytes that sometimes they'll be nearly all the time there'll be an arc knight down there as well so we just want to chain electricity you see that I got my rift back uh, we just want want to chain electricity and you can see you'll see here there we go we got all our abilities back and I've, I, I feel as if I've literally just used them so I'm just going to throw my grenade and I'm just going to put a couple of Wendigo shots. I'm not really wanting to spam because of where he is, he can quite easily just go and hide again. And there we go. That is, We're just left with an overload. My scout rifle, as you'd have seen, has shoot to loot, which works with orbs of light as well. So I can, I can, I can pull ammo and orbs uh, wherever they are. So there's my overload. It would, obviously it's overload uh, scout rifle so what I'm going to do is just I'm just going to punch him with this thing just put the, the melee over to him which gives him a little bit more and a couple of couple of grenade shots and there we go he's down and I've nearly got all my abilities back again you can see there that attrition uh, font of light gives you a uh, continuous healing for a couple of seconds so it allows you to play if you need to get ammo and you know there's ads out there but there is a font it will give you continuous healing for a short period of time now we're down here and the reason why we're down here is because there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot of heat over there <laughs> we don't want to be over there so we're just going to throw that grenade it wasn't the best grenade because they uh they came over here but as you can see i stopped the overload with my Scout rifle, which jolts him, and then my uh, uh, pop my uh, sorry, I stopped him with the the scout rifle, and then put my super on him, which jolted him, which means he was taking more damage then from my scout rifle when I started again. So uh, you'll see here if you look on the left, my super bar is going up like mental. That's because of the the helmet. So all your abilities recharge faster with the Crown of Tempest. So don't be scared to use your super. Now, I, again, I, I don't want to... I want to sound like I'm being like nasty here. Watch out. I'll, I'll just get this in here before I say what I was going to say. After you clear most of the ground ads, and we're not talking about the ads right at the back, we're talking about these ads that come chasing, these ads that come down here, you'll get your first wave of shanks, right? And they come from a couple of different places. So they'll always be, unless you, unless you, you know, and I'm sure most of you already have, but if you, unless you know this pretty well, yep, you're full, you can't pick up anymore, Sam. There you go, there we've learned. Uh, unless, you, you know, you, there's always a few more of those than you expect. So unless you're like, yep, I know, I know exactly how many there are. You know, always be prepared for them to be more than you expect. And when I say these ads, because the the ads that come pushing, because there'll always be maybe two vandals and a captain at the back over here, and they they are what stops the next wave of ads coming. I'll just, you know, he's doing the thing here where. Come on, move. There we go. Uh, once you break their shield, they're, they're not having it. They'll hide until their shield starts regenerating. So you can see there, it says, I'm just looking to see there's some heavy, and I'll get out of dodge because we're getting one next wave. It says, uh, uh, secure measures deact security measures deactivated. Now we're at one of three. We were at zero of three, obviously. You know you've cleared all the ads in that first wave when it goes to one of three. So a couple of... Uh, couple of witches here, a couple of wizards. I always call them witches. They, they look like witches to me. Uh, there, we, there we go. Now, the reason why I stay down here and I'm, I'm very mindful of attacking is because I know what I'm getting here. I'm getting this champion and we've got my super. We'll give him a little bit. He loves it. 
he doesn't. But that wizard we were shooting at, I seen it come up. Somebody else must have killed her. But because we done damage, we get the kill. We get the points. So, again, I'm just like, that. this tarnished metal is very good. I'm just use my, I haven't really used my grenade launcher on normal ads yet. There'll be a couple of those nights. And the second wave you're going to, as you've seen, we got, we got a couple of fallen. Which kind of sometimes will, the majority of them will stay up the top here, just battling amongst each other. You'll get some knights. Once you've took them out, then you'll get an elite, you'll get a set of captains. See, they're shot up at the back. I want this back elite sniper out. And what we'll do is just one hit them. And then we get the captains. You'll see here. There we go. There'll be about three or four captains. I think it's four, two yellow bar, two orange bar. Let's put my rift down. It, another thing that you need to be kind of mindful, and you'll see me do it as I'm going through here. You need to be careful that at all, when at all possible, when you're uh, when you're going to throw your grenade or whatever, use your other abilities. You know, I'll just pick up those orbs. I think there we go. Uh, use your other abilities because if you get if you know you're going to get kills with those abilities, you're going to produce ionic traces, which is uh, you know they're going to give you ability back. So it's wasteful if you hold on to an ability that you could use to do damage when you know you're going to get more energy back for that. So you you can see we've got stuff on my radar there. That's because there's a sniper, two snipers around there. But we are going to get, I've backed away because we are going to get, we're second wave of sh uh, champs, uh, shanks, champs, wave of champions, you say? What do you think it says, light blade? I only mentioned light blade because I noticed that's one of the nightfalls this, this season. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> I'm laughing at myself now because I'm already not looking forward to light blade. So, yeah, it's, it's wasteful to not, to, you know, to get, Ability energy back and not, you know, not use it. Now you see there, we took out that wave of shanks. Security measures deactivated three. Now what we're going to get. Ah, he's ran away. Now what we're going to get, you'll see here, we'll just put. I'm going to use my, my well. And now I'm going to use my super. And I actually couldn't see the champions. So I just. <laughs> I just went across everything and, and, and it cleared out quite a bit of stuff. Now we'll toss a grenade over there. And I'm, I haven't used my well because I'm I'm focusing. It's a solo focus now on this champion. I'm not... If I was ad clearing, it would be different. Am I going to get him here? If you don't think you're going to finish, don't... If you, if, if you switch like I did to Arbalest there... If you don't think you're going to get the kill, switch back to a weapon. Switch, switch back to your overall weapon. Stop him from teleporting. Now we've still got this boy up here. Unfortunately for him, he decided to show his face. Now to get this area to say it's clear, we have to kill those guys up on the gangway. But this will still be those snipers round the corner. So they've took as the ads do. There's still a couple of ground ads. When you hear the, the ending music for this area, there'll still be these ads around the corner. So we'll just take both of these. And then it's just the three vandals. You see their new objective, but there's still enemies up. So I'm going to have to jump up on this platform behind us, I reckon, yet, yeah, because they're, they're, they're not playing nice. There's two vandals. There's still one, I think. Nope, must have took him already. I'm just going to do a little scout around for ammo. And then we'll move around to the next section. Now, next section has an overload just before we get to the outside area. We've got an overload. A couple of uh, vandals and dregs. Nothing major. Now, again, something you'll have noticed in the video during the run. When you're killing vandals, they're dropping... Uh, those spider mines, oh man, they're so bad. But what you've got to remember is they do arc damage. So if you run through them and it explodes, I mean, I, I in the past, not obviously in the, when I've been doing this one because I, I, I know better now, but I've like, there's been either ammo or one of those uh, 
one of those fonts of light and I've went, oh, I could get that. And I ran over a spy- spider mine and it's killed me because it takes about 20, 25, 20, 25% of your health. So don't make that mistake. There's still an add up. We're wanting to hit both of them with this grenade. And then we're just going to put, you see there, the damage that the Wendigo puts out. This is the Adept. It's got, uh, my my Adept has explosive light auto-loading. So it doesn't have spike grenades. It's got augmented drum and linear compensator. But I have got Adept big ones on. So it's, it does does the damage against uh, uh, champions and bosses. That is what Adept big ones is. It takes everything that's good about We'll just kill these two vandals. It makes sense to get rid of them. And what we'll do is we'll stop. We'll break this barrier again. And then we'll throw a grenade. See what we get out of this. Ah, we shouldn't need to use our super. I just The thing about the Arbalest, in case you don't know, the th one of the things that makes Arbalest great, apart from it being a primary, is it obviously it does more damage when you when you break a shield, but it refills its magazine when you break a shield. And that's that's super helpful. I know that Linear's got a little bit of a touch, you know, <laughs> a little bit of a touch. It still makes me laugh that Bungie done that after going out of their way to say, well, what we cat what we categorize as boss damage weapons are linear fusion rifles and snipers. Cool. There's like two snipers in the heavy slot. So now Bungie nerfed our primary boss damage dealing uh, weapon straight from their horse's mouth. It's not even like people have went, well, this is what we think is the best weapons. Bungie said that this was boss damage dealing weapons. Everything else, rocket launchers, uh, machine guns, grenade launchers, were ad clear and champions. Crazy. And 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 just just would not mean to go off on a tangent, but one of the things with this, I wasn't really going to do the master. I actually got it, you know, started doing it by accident. Really, uh, was I, I still haven't found a heavy weapon that I'm, I'm like, yeah, this is the one. I've tested a few. Uh, anybody that follows me on Twitter or you can actually follow me on TikTok now. I've started making TikToks, just Destiny stuff. I'm not going to be dancing, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to be dancing or doing eating challenges or anything. Uh, well, who knows? Maybe not the dancing, though. Well, <laughs> no, not the dancing. Uh, yeah, I, I, if you'd have, if you'd have watched the TikTok or the, the you know, the, the YouTube short or anything that I made, I, I've been using. Uh, the exotic machine gun, uh, deterministic chaos, simply because it's not it, damage is damage isn't great. I mean, it's 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 okay, but it it weakens whatever you shoot, so you can provide your own damage buff. Brilliant! It was brilliant against uh, the second boss of the dungeon, like the the the, the lucent hive guy. I can't remember his name. Uh, because I could, I could take his shield down. I, 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 you know, I could, I could buff him with that machine gun and then pop my super, and he was already, he already had a damage buff on him. He was already debuffed, should I say? So I still haven't found my weapon. So I was like, oh, we'll give this a test, and I took linear fusion rifles into this because they're buffed. So I took storm chaser. Oh man, R.I.P. Storm chaser. My scout rifle was doing more damage. Can you believe that? Can you believe a scout rifle would out-damage a, a, a linear? Now, linears were doing more damage per shot. Let me just get that out in case somebody's like, what? <laughs> scout rifles broke. They're doing more damage than linears. That's not what I mean. I mean, r relatively speaking. You know, I was do I'm was i doing about, what, five, 6,000 damage with a scout rifle against this the, the, the tank. I just throw a grenade. We're going to start. We're going to start dealing damage now. I don't know why I'm using my linear on a red ball that I can take out with a scout rifle. Uh, what I try to do here, we'll just we'll just get back to this for a second. What I try to do here, you see, is when this ship comes in, just get out of dodge. Don't even bother about it. Because the ship fires arc and two shots, even if they land close to you, can be devastating. 
Uh, so when the ship comes, I always bug out. But what you've got to look at it here is we've took all the ads up here and you've seen I was trying to pick off snipers and what have you. I'll just throw a grenade. Your main primary concern in this area. I was going to try and Colby some grenade launcher shots, but uh, he's open now. Is this tank, the walker, right? Right and left, we have uh, Briggs. Now, the left-hand brig could be an issue, right? Just make sure that you're keeping keeping that. You see that metal pole in front of us and, and the kind of housing? Make sure you're keeping that between uh, yourself and the, and the walker. You see, I've just, just, I just Colby'd a couple of grenade launcher shots. I just, and then put my super. Now I'm coming back here because I can see I'm at about half health. Don't. Don't take too many chances because all it takes a couple of these shots, especially on attrition, uh, it just takes a couple to just make life very difficult. And be very careful because that gap we're just in front of, the walker can shoot through there. That's why I'm I'm not standing too close to that. All right, we'll just drop a couple of grenade launcher shots. I'd be much... I'll just fire one more. I, I would much rather... Just take him out with the scout. I'd much rather use the grenade launcher shots than my obelisk. So what we'll do is we'll clean up on aisle four. This is aisle four that we're at. I'm looking for ammo. We know we've got these little sniper, these little little guys here. Again, uh, and if, uh, this could be a feature of the video. Be very careful because you'll think you're you're fine, and then you'll come down here, and I can see behind there was one of those invisible vandals behind me. So I've come all the way back up because I don't want the boss getting a bit cheeky. I want to take the tank. So what I do is I try and take what's in front of me. You know, I categorize in my head what's the most dangerous thing in this area. And can I successfully work on ads or the other two dangerous things while avoiding that big dangerous thing? Now it's different if it's a boss because that's that's all you've got. That walker's not a boss. We can kill the walker and then deal with everything else. So the walker's the main priority. After that, you're asking yourself, right, can I deal with the walker safely and avoid the brigs? Which you can. When the brig on the right-hand side pushes up too close, I, I deal with them. And the brig on the left, majority of the time, now but we know we're going to get pushed by these uh, these guys. He's invisible, so I'm going to go up here. I've got the rift down. I'll just throw it down there. We're more worried about this guy than we are the overload. And then we'll change back to, you can see there, I've got my, my grenade back, break his shield, which refills, and then one shot, and you're done. And here's, here. I thought I had a charged melee, but we got my health back. We, we, we jumped there because I knew there was another guy. He's nearly dead. Come up here, probably come back, take all the take any other ads. It sounds kind of weird to say it like this, but the out of all these ads that are here, the ad I'm I'm less worried about is the champion because it's a pellet it's a pellet spread. I put this down now. There's a ship coming in, but because it's the second ship and where I am with the ads, he's not he he just. He, He'll fly over. He won't stop and drop any ads. He just flies over. Just throw my grenade again. And there we go. There's, there's the, the overload. And that was that last inv invisible. So all the ads are down. I'm just checking for ammo because I'm a little bit late. There we've got a, one of those guys, one of the vandals. And we have... I'll just take that special. We have the other the other brig. So I'll put a grenade over on top of him. Put rift down. And then I'll probably use my super from here. Now I'm not amplified, but you can still see that done and at you know a, a decent bit of damage. And once I break him, a full magazine of Arbalist will kill him. There we go. Well, one short actually. So that's the Briggs and the Walker taken care of. We still have some overloads to to, to compete with and some snipers. 
once you take out the sniper, the, the overloads aren't out yet. I don't think they're out. Yes, they are. You know, you, you can tell if they're out, if that back gate, the one you exit this area from, if that's open, they're out. So we'll just pick up some of this ammo. There we go. We're full on special. Got six grenades. The grenade launcher, and you probably noticed this yourself, isn't my primary form of damage. It's an additional damage. So I'll put my rift down and just work on some of these ads at the back because I know what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and take this boy over on the left. You see, we he's the grenade has stopped him. Uh, that won't go that far, but as I said, you want to try and get rid of your abilities when you're when you're jolting or doing anything like that. Uh, so I'm going to try and take this guy down so where he is, I can push up to that area and give myself a better angle on the ads that are still up on that main that main area. I just there we go. Now I know that there's another overload because two overloads come up there. There is. Also, an arc shielded captain, and there'll be some other little lads. Well done. Now, I have bomber on, so that's why whenever I put my rift down, not well, my rift, whenever I put my rift down, I get grenade energy because that's obviously what bomber does. And there he is. Arbalist should be the play. So now it's just a couple of little red bars. And I've almost got my rift back. And there's the rift. So now I'll just throw a grenade. I want to get rid of him. I've caught a rift should I need it. But I'm, see, we'll see how we do with this head glitch. I don't, you know, if at all possible when it comes to stuff like this. I don't really like. Going into the boss area, which is the area after this, I don't really like going into it with, without you know all the goodies, grenade, rift, the whole shebang. So pick up. I didn't. I don't think there's any more heavy here, which is fine. And what we're going to do now we're at the boss area. Let's speak a little bit about what we're going to do. We're going to hide in the room and throw grenades. No, <laughs> it's not quite. It's not quite as straightforward as that. When we get in, I used to try and take the overloads from out here, but it's worthwhile just going into the room and dealing with them there. So I'm not going to bother firing at any ads. I'll come in here and get myself set. I can I can view the area. So I'll take out a couple of these because the, the little enemies. I'll just throw my put my rift down, grenade. That should give me a load of stuff. And we'll keep him overloaded. Now, obviously, sometimes it's it's difficult to see. But what you don't want to do, I think anyway, is if you use your last bits of ammo in your magazine to, to stop an overload champion, uh, reload before you stop him. You want to make sure that you can do a bit of damage to him after you've stopped them because it's that period right after after you stop an overload that dictates uh everything really you know how fast he'll regenerate his health whether he will regenerate because once you overload a cha a, a, a champion oh he was he was a little bit he wanted it a little bit too much for my liking there he is over there you can hold that grenade and as i say through my grenade, ads will go into it and we'll produce ionic traces and we want to make sure that uh, we we'll want to make sure that we, you know, we utilise our abilities for safety as well. We'll just throw that there. We should get some ionic traces from that. There we go. And clear those enemies over there. I'm not doing anything with the boss because I know that what's going to happen is... Once I take out this wave of ads, we should get a wave of shank. So I just, you know, there's a lot of incoming arc damage. So I just want to make sure I'm doing things as safely as possible. Just check we're all good around here. And then I want this heavy. But there is an arc captain. 
I knew the art captain was out, wasn't like I didn't know. And the reason I came back over here is because my health. I'm going to duck down and see if there's anything going on over the other side that might be easier for me to... I'll just pop my up. Now, what happened here was... I popped it, not the best super generation, he was a little bit high, and I popped it and my character's animation just pushed me back a little bit. No big deal. As you can see, i just seen it on, uh, coming there. Shanks are out. They, they always, even though I know that they're coming, it always kind of throws me. So I tried to throw my grenade over the other side to deal with some of them over the other side you'll see I'll start collecting a heap of ionic traces which will, should give me all my abilities back and like I was saying earlier if you just aim at enemies when your oxhole's up your oxhole will go after them so now I've managed to pick up uh, a, a, an attrition and um, we'll just arbalist that's all these ground adds down now so we've got plenty of special there's another one of those Fonts, I can go after the heavy here now. Only two rounds. Disappointing, but it is what it is. I'll put them both into the boss, which done okay. And now I'll just start hitting some precision shots. We've got to, got to make sure that we're not out there when the next wave of ads come. You have to be very careful, mindful of your surroundings. You know, you don't want to get yourself into a position where uh, you're pushing yourself out of position to get something that puts you in a bad place. Now you can see I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just nipping out and I'm allowing my my uh, my little arc buddy, my little arc soul, I'm allowing him to uh, to get damage in to create, help me create these ionic traces. Now the boss is in what I commonly refer to as his cocoon phase. I don't know what that server, uh, that mini server I've done there. But what I try to do is take out a few of these servers. You can see there's still ads up. I'm not gonna I'm not going to activate the boss just yet. I'm gonna take these three servers because they're the ones that they're the ones that are gonna be shooting at me constantly. I know that there's more ads up. I'll just use my melee, still more ads up here. Exploder. You know, so you before you actually get go after the boss, you want to make sure that there are no other ads. So we can go back up. I've got my super, pop my super on them, and that will that'll deal a decent amount of damage. So just take this last server. Oh, and now the more shanks out. Just use my melee now that I'm amplified. It will, when you're amplified, your melee hits whatever it's hitting. And then we've got a whole bunch of other ads coming in. So a, a big grenade over the other side. It might not hit anything to start with, but there's going to be enough ads that they, they are going to come round. Arxel will help produce these, these uh, get our abilities back faster. I've got my melee, so I'll just push that out there. It does a lot. That was a yellow bar vandal. And I am 20 levels under this activity. As it was just, Oxo was really putting in work. See there, just doing some chain stuff there. Throw the grenade. More ads. We know that we know that there's more ads. But there isn't a ton of ads. And you see, I've been trying this a few times. If the, if the ads won't change position, I'll change position and see if that brings them out. Right, so get the boss to come back down and then we'll just, I'll actually get out here because this is the, invi well, we'll get prepped for the invisibles. Throw that in there. Rift down, Oxo will start targeting things I can't see. And Oxo should do its, do a bit of work here. I think we're almost good. I think there's one more. And now we'll go after the boss. There he is on the, the right. Just checking there's nothing else. 
Um, we want we want to put him back into his cocoon phase as fast as possible now. Here's another wave of shanks. Shanks for the memories. Really bad. But I'll take it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> That's about the only joke I could think of. Shank you very much. More ads incoming. Now, as I was saying, about, so at the at the end here, right, you are using your abilities quite a bit. And we'll just take that, the Vandals, out with the melee, finish them off with the melee. I put my Rift down, which gives me my grenade back, and I'll just get a grenade over on top of all of them. I, I do, there's nothing makes me happier than throwing a grenade and just seeing lots of numbers. Because you know then you've hit, you've hit the money shot. There's a, there, there is a Vandal and whatnot over there, so... And there's still another captain over there. And now there are ads below us, so. We'll just use one grenade launcher shot, which took the three dregs. And now I get to see what's about. That's what I was saying about the attrition. You can Once you pick up an attrition font, you can be a lot more aggressive. And we want to try, there we go, that's the, the captain down. Throw that over there, as I say. We, and now I'm going to get my oxal to get me my abilities back. And you see how, what I'm doing is just ducking out. And there we go, that's, that's all my abilities back. Got my super, let's go and see what the boss is up to, what's his health at. I'm not going to pop. I should have just popped my super actually, but I think I kept it for the overloads. And we'll get one more on him. Now we've got the overloads. One of these overloads must be the cousin of the overload at the start. Because the overload at the start, if you give him a chance, he, he, it's like John Travolta in the 70s. It's all over the place. You know, it's, it's staying alive. You know? So as you can see there, I just that's why I kept my super was to just deal with one of the overloads because this guy here, he is so hard to nail down. Now you watch, I'm stopping him with an overload. Nah, he's having none of it. Regenerated while I was overloading him, and then he just runs away. You can what you've got to do with that overload is just he will eventually come to you. You know, and I do get a couple of opportunities here. Other ads in the way. Got to be very mindful. And now we've got the shanks back. And I nearly killed myself with a grenade. Trying to just do everything a little bit too quick. So now I need my abilities back. Let's get let's get my little arc buddy on the case. I've got my grenade back. And I want my rift back. You see him just constantly teleport. So what we'll do now is exactly what I said. We'll take these three, take the three boys back, three of these servers, because they shoot at the window that you're at. So you don't really want that when you're trying to deal with, with ads and the worst overload. <laughs> I have always had this problem with this overload, always. I'm, I, see, I don't want to shoot them there. I don't want to stop them there. I want them to come out. Right, like that, so I can see his whole body. So we'll get the rift down. Hopefully we can keep him there. There we go. If you start shooting at him with the overload weapon, right, and he doesn't move, you know you've got him. And there we go. So now we'll just... We've, we've got full special. Now we'll just take this last server down and then it's about trying to deal with... We're going to get more ads incoming, but I'm going to try and get my super off here really quick. And then back in. Now this time, we'll just... Law of averages, we'll take the close range uh, guys first. You can see we've got this other wave of yellow bars now. Let's throw that. 
Grenade, lots of numbers. Really did clear this wave out quickly. Uh, got my abilities back again. Now let's, we need to have a look and see what the boss is saying. How much health has he got? There's another wave. Oh, he's not got much. So what I'll do is... I went down to see if I could get something on them down here, but there were too many ads up on the right because another wave had came in. Nearly died. So what I'm going to do, i put a well down, a rift. And we'll just take this boy here and then just clear a couple of ads with the, the grenade launcher. Couldn't get it past the stairs. So I've got a grenade now. Rift, grenade. Same old, same old. And you can see there, the Oxo is doing a lot of damage to those ads, even from a decent range. It's really good damage. Thought I could have got the captain there. More shanks. Now at some point, where we, where we are in the strike, there comes a point where you have to say, you know what, the boss doesn't have a lot of health left. I just need I just need to get rid of him. I just need now to get rid of him. And that's what happens here is there comes a point where you say, right, okay, let's take out some of these ads so that they're not becoming too much of a problem. There's the... Unfortunately, every time I, every time I shoot him... He just runs away. So now what we're going to do, as you can see, we'll get a grenade on it and then just take out this vandal. We're just going to go down here. We'll lump my lesson the, the last time. We're just going to come down here, take out, take out the last vandal and then one shot on the boss. Rift and then just come out and just super. And there you go, guys. Decent rewards for a master. Uh, there's no special modifier, no special thing on, but we got two shards. So there you go, guys. That is it. Uh, Twenty level, twenty-one levels under. That is master and nightfall. Uh, on a on a who would have thought on a warlock on an arc warlock. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. This is going to be the first of a few videos this weekend, so I hope you guys tune into the channel. I've got a solo farm method for red box weapons from Last Wish, and I'll be doing a guide on the first dungeon boss. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys in the next one.